<laughs> what you said? <laughs> we back. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go right back into it because I know how I am, but we're gonna let them introduce go ahead and introduce yourself again. Okay, I am Demika Rochelle, singer, songwriter, rapper, mom, wife, employee. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, artist. Yeah, I'm Jimmy's wife, aka well better known as James. Jimmy. Who are you, Jimmy? I'm Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm her husband. I, um, I'm a videographer in Chapman, Tennessee. Um, yeah, if you need some work done, get with me. Yeah. <laughs> He's a supervisor. He's a supervisor. <laughs> and a dad. A whole lot. Everything. <laughs> Everything you need. Everything, Everything I need. need. <laughs> right. Get, get it right. Everything she needs. I'm just glad he corrected it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, so y'all know I like to go right into the whole love story because it can get long-winded if we just keep on. So, um, I know that says China, but it's recording so that's all right so um let's go from the beginning for Demika met jimmy what was Demika doing Demika was young and reckless <laughs> <laughs> but not restless <laughs> 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 let me stop i cry myself and i was like um so Demika, i was a single mother um young um i was at i wasn't thinking like at the when I, before I met Jimmy, I was like, basically at the point, I was like, man, you know, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to these young men out here because they're wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was what was going on. Nothing really major. What was you doing before me, baby? Yeah, I was like, I was, I was around the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go back. So you said, I know they told me beforehand, so they didn't say this, but they have dated nine years. Well, dated, um, it's coming up on nine years. Nine yeah. years, uh -huh. okay. I mean, and married, you, coming up on seven years. Seven, okay. Mm -hmm. So nine years ago, you was 20. Uh -huh. Nine years ago, you was 30. I meant 24. Well, right? Yeah. Something like that. 23? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, help me out here, my master. Okay. <laughs> so... At that time, you I mean, you said you wasn't looking at dating. You were just living, you know, whatever. So, tell me about when y'all first met. Or how did you... Or did you know, know each other beforehand? No. Or? No, that's what's crazy. We went weird. to the same we school. We went to the same school that we had, like... What school was that? A lot of mutual friends. Yeah, Tyner. Tyner. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> y'all got some high school pride here in Chattanooga. Yeah, <laughs> so, Tyner. <laughs> no, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, y'all met and knew no. each other. No, we oh, did. Yeah. Yeah. So I told her who I was or whatever, and she's talking about some oh yeah, of course I know who you 
Who you is, your name is on your, your profile. Like, he called me like Smart. that, like, my name is, yes. I was like, yeah, I, I see that. <laughs> I was like, what's the deal? I mean, but I'm, you know, and, um, so after that, or whatever, we, we talked, and then, we actually, actually, I was going to see a movie, and I um, invited her to go see the movie, whatever, yeah. the crazy The crazy. <laughs> so I was like, you know, uh, I'm going to see a movie. You want to go, you want to ride with me, you know, go check it out. She was like, all right, you know. So I went, um, I picked up, or whatever. And the whole time, she just wanted to text on the phone. Wow. <laughs> she texted Bria. <laughs>
right, so now y'all, I mean, y'all are together. Uh-huh. Okay, so, but, I mean, really, how did you come to the point, like, okay, this is who I want to be with, and when did you, I mean, come yeah, to the this. the same, with yeah. the same um, yeah. goals. Mm-hmm. We had the same goal, we wrote, uh, we had a yeah, list. We, we, we had a foundation. Like, we, um, we actually sat down and discussed what we wanted, and. From each other. Yeah, yeah. And we wrote that, that in order. We, like, put it, literally, we had a piece of paper, uh-huh. like. We this is what we said. We said, okay, I right, we we going we get a little serious. Like we about to be like before before we become a boyfriend and girlfriend. Like what do we want from each other? Yeah. What do we want from? And y'all did that with a relationship, not yeah. even just a marriage. Yeah. This is before we. Uh, this is before we, This is before like, even boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, like like, like this any, is like to anything that's gonna operate. Mm-hmm. It's gotta have like instructions. It's gotta have rules. It gotta have all that. Mm-hmm. You can't function without instructions and rules. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So write that down. We we, <laughs> we, we, we we like we we you know what I'm saying? We created our own list and prioritized yeah. what we thought was important mm-hmm. for us to survive or to be a relationship. To make it a relationship, and, and, you know. Wow. Proceed, so we took everything from our past relationships and was like, okay, this is not what we're gonna do with this relationship. Yeah. Yeah, I did that at a young age. Mm-hmm. So was there anybody who inspired that, or no. was that something that y'all two? It was so just something that, that we were so close. It's like we figured it out. We figured it out, and I was, and it was something for me. It was like, man, okay, I know it's something different, like with him, and I know what I want. I want him to know what I want and mm-hmm. what I don't want. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, no, like. I mean, because for y'all to be, and I'm just getting very interview type here, yeah. for y'all to be so young and have that kind of mindset, was that something you saw from your parents, or yeah. was just that something, tired. you know? We was just at, uh, we, yeah. like how we were saying, we was pretty much at the same mm-hmm. spot, we was like, man, we tired yeah, of, like, tired. different relationships, and mm-hmm. it's just wasting time, and just, like, we That's was, I guess we was getting more groomed, so into that point, it was like, we want to become more serious with yeah. somebody. We had already mm-hmm. went through our, you know what I'm saying? Like our, the play play and, and um, all that stuff yeah. as, as mm-hmm. younger people to, you know, adapt to what we need to adapt to to make sure we work. So. Mm-hmm. so now that y'all have written that and now y'all are kids, y'all have done other stuff and yeah. now y'all are dating. Yeah. Like, what was dating like? What was, when y'all uh, were dating? <laughs> One, uh, dating was putting $20 in the gas tank from yeah. sun up to sundown, <laughs> riding in a green Lincoln with a little cup. <laughs> they want the sun to get some little ice. Yeah. Hey, eating them Tyson wings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Extra five to sell yeah. things to make them crispy. <laughs> like we we used to, we, we used to not have to. We didn't even have to go on all dates. Just nah, being around each other. We would be in the car. Our company. We'll get bootleg yeah. CDs. Go back to the crib, watch them, mm-hmm. and eat the Tyson and little Debbie cakes. Tyson chicken and little yeah. Debbie cakes. <laughs> So y'all dating or whatever you want to call it or whatever. So was there any hard times during the dating? I mean, yeah. like, cause you know, there's some people that they, oh, they probably look at your pages and like, oh, they have the best life. There's no issues. And I think another reason I did the love stories is like, everybody has something they had to overcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So even in your dating process, was there things that you had to be like, okay, I don't know. Um, maybe I thought it was going to be this or did, did y'all ever have those kind of moments? You always going to have yeah. issues. You don't have to adapt. That's part of being being with each other. Like, and how did you do that? You but do that? what I can say is there was a point when like we were just boyfriend and girlfriends where there was something that did happen or that something that you know what I'm saying like ultimately it could have damaged a lot of stuff but mm-hmm. what I can say that one thing it's been the only thing ever in our relationship. And it wasn't even the baddest thing that could happen. You know what I'm right. saying? But it's like, we don't we don't have like just no, I got to give it up to the relationship. Yeah, <laughs> I, when, I, when I really look outside of ourselves, it's like, there's really, like, it's not saying that it's perfect. Right. But what I'm saying is, we really don't have a lot of stuff going on because we don't open our... Like, we don't open they doors to a lot of different open. stuff. Right. Like, we don't, we're not doing a lot of different, a whole lot of different yeah, stuff. You got no, like, we don't play them games. You got, you got right. no Y'all made each other best friends. Yeah. Like, really, like, we teach each other. Though. Like, we, we really each teach each other. And, like, we really, yeah, we, hold on each other. we look out for each other, too. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, now a proposal. Like, what came to the point where <laughs> Jenny was like, man, what? I read the skin in the rest of my life for I mean, I knew from... I knew from when we got together, we knew, we, we knew what we wanted. Like, mm-hmm. if I know what I want, you know what you want. 
Well, we know what we want. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, no, it wasn't no questions. It wasn't no doubts about none of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so, I mean, leading up to me proposing, though, I kind of tricked her a little bit. Yeah. She was angry. I was so saying? angry. I was sad. I was crying. I was pregnant. We, yeah. <laughs> we used to talk and be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why always, why, why guys always got to ask a girl or whatever? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Why girls don't never ask a guy or whatever? She's like, What's that? Like, what, what, what you mean? What's that? What's going on? Like, so I'm playing a trick on her. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it ain't nothing wrong with you asking me. You know what I'm saying? You can ask me. So, like, it, it went on for a while and whatever, whatever, whatever. So, you know, I played with her so long. She got, I guess she got numb to it a little bit. So, I, I, one day, I, one day, we ride down the street and I pull over. Well, no, I just the street. Well, not the freeway. To, uh-huh. to where, though? Where was we going? Was going to Calhoun. Right, right, Calhoun. That's where yeah. I'm from. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, I'm At a gas time. station. Yeah, at the gas station. I pulled over. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never even thought about, you know, thought about, you know, how you how you marry somebody. I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? Let me practice right quick. By this time, I already, I got, I had, I had the ring, ring, you know what I'm saying? The promise ring. Okay. I had a promise ring on. Yeah. Her, yeah, she had a promise ring that she yeah. had on, but I had already had the, you know, the, 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 the ring, the ring, ring. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Let me practice. Let's pull up. Let me, let me, let, matter of fact, go to a gas station. Let me pull up and practice. So I'm like, you want somebody, to, you know, you want somebody to store whatever. She's like, nah, she mad. She, she crying. Like, crying. <laughs> she like, you know, this bullshit, you know. And I'm like, nah, for real, let me practice. I really do need to practice because I want to be ready for when it's time to do this, you know. I got to be on my, you know, I got to be right. ready. So I, um, I come around the side of the car or whatever and I, I'm like, I get out the car right quick, you know what I'm saying. So I get, I get down on my my one knee. I'm telling her everything. I'm, I'm telling her she mad. She pissed off. I don't even think she really listening to what I'm telling her. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I'm, so yeah, I'm telling her everything, you know, baby, I love you, and, and, you know, all this, you know, and let her know how I feel, and then, I, um, you know, I, but I did take the promise ring off of first, yeah, like, so I practiced, so I, but I switched it. Because he was going to practice yeah, with the promise but ring. but I switched it in my pocket and got the other ring out. And so I didn't know. So when I I slid the real <laughs> ring on, finger. And you know what I'm saying? By that time, you know, so she got back in the car, get her, she crying, and she didn't even know. I didn't she even know. Down, I was just still And mad. I get in the car, she just, then she looked down, and she like, yep, you know what I'm saying? Then she like, maybe it's going to be okay. <laughs> 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 I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, she ain't even paying attention the whole time. I'm telling you know, I done went to spill my heart. She ain't even listening. <laughs>
it was like, come on. He called me Buck Boots. So he was like, come on, Buck Boots. You got it. Like, come on. Or he would call me like, come on, meet Nick, baby. Like, you got it or whatever. So he was like, come on. Keep on singing. Keep on singing. <laughs> but it was a nice song or whatever. So, yeah. I mean, it seemed like y'all had fun. Y'all really take that relationship to have fun. We had fun all the time. Without doing nothing. Right. Without okay. spending a lot, doing a lot. And that's what, it, I mean, that's really all it takes. But I... Love stories is about marriage. Mm-hmm. So now we've got how y'all met or whatever. And like I said, a lot of people look at marriage and they have negative thoughts towards marriages. Oh, they Lord. have, especially in uh, this city. Yeah, yes. exactly. Because it's like everybody's everybody's definition of love, honesty, real. Our marriage is different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you might have the most inspiring, most popular marriages that you look up to, and it's like maybe they're not doing the best job at showing you what a marriage is, mm-hmm. but it's like, so you ring that as like, oh, that's what's going on in everybody's marriage, like, that's what's, and it just looked bad or whatever, and really it's like, man, no, we ain't with that. So, I mean, <laughs> y'all pretty much re- rewrote dating, because mm-hmm. really y'all did it y'all's way, and we that's did. what made it, like, where y'all at now. Yeah, but did y'all have any marriages that you, anybody, couples that you went not to? Or, so y'all really have been <laughs> Not this one. This is Demetra and Jimmy, right. Jimmy and Demetra, this is... Man, yeah. it, it was just one of those things. It's like, man, I really love him so much. Like, like outside of just being like his wife or his girl, it's like, this really is my friend. Like, I would never want to hurt him. I would never want to see myself without him. And that's why it's either Demika and Jimmy or it's Depp. You know? <laughs> 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 it's because you feel what I'm saying? It's that real. You know? <laughs> Being, what is the because you know people say you have honeymoon stage you have we never we never um I don't know I, the, the traditional stage that everybody said we had a real stage <laughs> 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 we uh we um the different stages that people say that happen in marriages they say the first year is the hardest right they say I don't I don't we didn't see that. I don't see the different stages. They said the fifth year is going to get even tougher. They said the fifth year is going to get even tougher. They said that's when people usually, you know. Right. right. Whatever. Keep going. going. <laughs> I was going to say, that's your, I mean, but y'all, y'all have fun. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Like, man, I feel like when you, I feel like when you're full blown, really know what you want in life, know what you want out of somebody, and you're not tolerating nothing outside of that, mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, we do right by each other. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, to me, if you really love somebody, you're going to do right by them because you're not going to do anything to push them out of your life. That's the real definition of, to me, really loving somebody. Like, right. I love you so much as a friend that I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize our friendship. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I want you to stay around. Mm-hmm. I like having you as a friend. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's what it is. It's like... So it sounds like respect. Y'all respect. Yeah, like... That's, yeah. What, yeah. that's what it boils down to. Having respect. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's not about... What we can do together. What what goes on when we not together? You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that's the part that happens. A you feel what I'm saying? No matter what you don't do when it's a problem. Yeah. Right. And how do y'all? I mean, in the last seven years, I I know with any relationship, you're going to have disagreements yeah. and not, you know. So how how have y'all would like overcame it together? What is y'all? If you had to write a manual, how is y'all's manual of how y'all deal with issues that come try to come between y'all? We always identify the devil. You gotta identify the devil. Yeah. You get we we, we <laughs> right. identify the devil. Most of the time, you can't if put it's... yourself in those situations where you where you gonna be attacked by the devil, mm-hmm. you gonna lead yourself to something that y'all need to do. Right, right. Spirit. And so. it's like we do a lot of thinking ahead before mm-hmm. things that actually happen. You feel what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's also like we not again we don't open doors to different stuff or whatever. So like how we would write our manual, I would say is. Really just doing what's right. Doing mm-hmm. what you know what's right. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. really not all drawn out, is it? It's really not complex. It's so, really as simple as, dang, if I go here, and if I know I'm not supposed to be here, and she's not here, what can happen if she finds out I'm here? You feel like it's right. just so, adding so, simple so, stuff together. It's, it's, it's basically you handing out sec- uh, security to each other. Yeah. So, right. Without having to ask for security. You just, you do it. And was there anything that made y'all think? I mean, because it it, it amazes me. So I know it's got to amaze anybody who's going to watch it. Like, for y'all to be so young in your. Because a lot of people who. A lot of people I know in my 20s that was. When I was in 20s, they're not married now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like. Because who they were in their 20s definitely changed from who they were in their Mm -hmm. 30s. So what have y'all. I mean, what has made y'all 
different and being able to keep keep going. I know, like I, it's almost unreal how I'm listening. I'm like, dang, that was that smart. Like, it really is unreal, man. It's a plan, man. I feel like it's really life God's plan. Life like, man, you gotta be able to, you gotta know what moves to make. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, it ain't no fairy tale. You right. gotta know what moves to make. That's true. And I'm trying to say, and y'all just did it. Y'all just wrote it down. I know it sounds like. And, 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 I know it's not. And I'm crazy. definitely. I can see I know it. I can feel it. I know it. It's, it sounds crazy to hear. Yeah. But man, I can't stress it enough. I wish it was people that like literally if his if his wallet did not get washed just just so happened just a few thing. weeks ago. We're He's up to right, right now in our relationship. We still carried that piece of paper. We just made a video about it on our YouTube channel about mm-hmm. the piece of paper that he carried in his wallet still from when we was free. Like, like it was, wow. but just so happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all the times we post a link or whatever, just so happened, the paper got washed, mm-hmm. the paper gone. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But now it's so like, we we still, we've it. already programmed ourselves and we know what we're supposed to do in life. Right. And I know it sounds crazy and it's like, dang, it's like, how do they really know this? But like, it's like, where we really elevated, you know how like a puzzle, imagine a puzzle, and you, you had that last piece that you just trying to, that last piece, you know what I'm saying, you just got to put it in, and it's just like, oh, yeah. everything fit together, you feel what I'm saying, mm-hmm. it's like when we really got together, like our conversation changed, our life changed, our mind changed, everything started to just slowly like sink together, mm-hmm. like how we think, it's different, then. it's, it's not like a regular, it's different, it's different. Man, it's, that's why we can't, that's like, why we I don't have that in conversation, I can't come in and come, come, Conversate with a lot of people, or my, my thinking is different. Right. You know what I'm so, what you're saying, it, it may sound totally stupid to me, but what I'm saying makes it sound totally stupid to you. Right. You know what I'm but y'all understand. Well, we we understand, understand it. Right. It's like, that's man, that's so deep to me. Yeah. So, how, okay, kids. Yeah. Y'all, how many kids y'all have? Four together. Four together. And how did that change? The, I mean, how was that for the relationship? Because a lot of people married and trying to be a mother and a working mother, and not only that, you have your own thing going on. Mm-hmm. You work mm-hmm. a regular job. Yeah. You're a good wife. A mo- I mean, how do you balance it all? Man. And still be able to have fun. Right. Because, mm-hmm. like, we really, our whole household and how we, like, designed everything and moving as a unit, it's just like, man, with the kids, you know how they say even, like, when people are new in a relationship or when you have, when you have sex before marriage or when you have a child before even you know, really get to that next part of your life. It's supposed to break up so much, but like, even with the baby situation, when we had Chunka, mm-hmm. it's just like, no, I don't think I don't think we can really be broken. I don't think, mm-hmm. like, I mean, I know anything can be broken, but yeah. I really feel like it's God crazy. put His hand on us and said we got something special for this couple. Mm-hmm. Right. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I know that sounds crazy, but it's just like, that's how I feel. Every mm-hmm. every single day, even on the outside looking in, I'm like, dang. Like, we really have so much balance and strength just inside of us, and we really know. are just, it's just yeah. us we, depending on each other. We're stronger together. Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. if you know you're stronger together, what you, what you doing? What, that's, it's common sense. Mm-hmm. It's common sense come from anything. And that balance and that load is, it. I'm not going to say that it's not tough, but it, it's easier when you do have somebody that's standing there with you, holding that same, you know what I'm saying, holding that same weight with you. So it's like, when it comes to being a mother, when it comes to being an artist, when it comes to being employed, when it comes to just being all these different things, it's like, it's easier because I have somebody that's right beside me that's just like, hey, I got one hand up on this weight too. I feel it too. You feel what I'm right. saying? So it's like, it's easy. And is that the same with being a husband, working? I mean, you know, I see you, yeah, I see you everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but one thing I do love is that not only are y'all building a dynasty for y'all, mm-hmm. but you're now starting it with your kids. Like, yeah. what made you, I mean, is this something y'all even talk to them about being creative? And It was something we told them. We have real life conversations, even our parenting skills. It's not like a traditional parent. We always believe, but sometimes... We believe of you need to show them some of the stuff that you try to hide from them because they're going to get out here in this world. And it's like life's going to show them. Their friends going to show them. Or they're going to run into it. And it's like we, no we have do. real life conversations with them. It's like, no man, do. life is hard outside of these walls. Mm-hmm. Like this is not no fairy tale. Like you don't get snacks for this or you don't get money and games for this. It's like so even with that, we begin to tell them and like try to get push them to have their own identity. Um, which is why, you know, even as with our son, like, he's becoming an artist now. I trust I know. My <laughs> niece saw that I was putting, I was like, oh, I got to make 
make sure because we're going to interview. This is when we're supposed to interview the last time. Uh-huh. And she saw the picture of you and your son. She's like, you know his mom? I was like, yeah, who is he? <laughs> <laughs> Because I didn't know, oh, and she knew. She was like, he was at the bowling alley, and then I was like, okay. You'll be so surprised the last two months, even. That's how long he's been doing music now. The last two months is like, it's, even the amount of inspiration that he's even done at the age of 12 now, it's like, wow. Like, it's so many kids or parents that's yeah. hitting us up on a daily basis. Like, oh, my God, my, my child wants to see him in concert. Where can I get this? Where can I get this? Would they want to see him? Like but people's face time on, like right. complete strangers, like complete people from New Jersey. We have, I have, I have a support that supports like our thing or whatever in New Jersey, and then her son is now like really super, like with our son. So, wow. like, crazy. so now, okay, what I don't even know what y'all like. I think I just say the call your call your okay. <laughs> <'Cause I'm> like, <laughs> So, five, <laughs> so let's say 20 years from now, mm-hmm. you look back at this video, what do you want to see and be like, I'm so happy we're still doing this? Improving. Yeah, still improving. I want to still be able to be, because I I know a lot of people probably look at, like, not even just us, but even like at me, they're like, they might not like think like, oh my gosh, she probably thinks she's all that and stuff. But I, I want to look back at this and be still silly, still laugh, because I really... <laughs> Just so goofy, and I, I appreciate that he accepts that because it's mm-hmm. like he's more serious, and it's just like I'm so goofy and loud, <laughs> and just always laughing. Well, you did take her to see crazy, right? <laughs> you got what you had for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just want to look back and be like, man, I want to be able to look back 20 years from now. You know how you you look at those videos that go viral. Um, from other couples, like when they when they grown up to eighty, right. you could just smile or cry. It. I want to be looking back and just smile and be and turn over and be like, "Look at this, which old ass." You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to do that. Like, uh, do me a favor, and if there's a young couple out there, they're young, they made that decision that they, you know, even though they're early twenties, mm-hmm. they want to go ahead and they want to make that. What advice would you give them um, about marriage or about taking that? Step of commitment at a young age. Yeah, I would say don't commit unless you don't say you. I do if you really don't. Don't commit or waste anyone's time or damage anybody if you're not ready for nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Also, I would say you know don't don't focus on what other marriages do or what you think is supposed to be what other marriages have going on. Find your own way. Pray about it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people pray for things like you know, different blessings, but somebody like me, I pray for wisdom, like, make sure your mind is strong mentally, like, make sure that you are ready to get exactly what you're asking for, or get inside, because, you know, being with somebody or saying that you want to commit to somebody for forever, that's a long time, you feel what I'm saying, a lot of people don't make it, we see a lot of our own friends where they didn't make it, you feel what I'm saying, and they got married after us, or they got married before us, and it's like, man, just really know what you want out of life, out of people, and take it serious. And if not, it's okay. We're not rushing to get married. So take time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, honestly, just hearing y'all, I'm, like, so engaged. I'm just like, oh, my <laughs> God. Like, all, all seriousness is mm-hmm. not just something that you see. I mean, you can spiritually feel mm-hmm. when somebody's telling the truth, too. You you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's not, oh, you know. Don't get us talking about the spiritual. <laughs> you know about that. Like, and you can just tell that y'all enjoy each other. If I don't catch it, she don't catch it. Right. I don't catch it, she don't catch it. Right. <laughs> I believe in that energy, baby. That's yes. real. And I really do. That's why I'm just sitting there like, and honestly, I'm in mean, all like, that's for real. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can honestly, I mean, when you can laugh at somebody, like, and when you look at him, you probably don't even notice, but you just like, you're just so I, happy. I, <laughs> you cheese an extra hard when you turn that way. <laughs> so, so, I mean, as far as marriage and work, what is coming up next for the colliers, the yeah, the colliers. A lot. Um, still, still elevating music, videos, yeah. family. Um, whatever we can get our hands on. Whatever. It's going. We was, I was, we was just talking about some new dreams that I'm trying to think about doing. Um, so I don't really want to mention it now because I know that sometimes they say if you speak too soon, you know what I'm saying stuff. Right. But it's some stuff that I we're trying to do. I think what I love the most is it seems like you, you both dream, mm-hmm. but both of your dreams just coincide with each yes. other. So, I mean, well, was that, 
I mean, how, I mean, how does that feel to be able to know that the things that God's given you, uh, as far as dreams and things He's given you, it just, you know, that you can do it well, with your best friend? Well, my, um, her dream is, like, music and, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, doing stuff like that. But my dream is just to make her happy. So everything that she's doing, it's going to, like, I'm ready to do it. Because that was saying? never his dream to do videos. No, like, he, really? No. He, no but he loved music, making that, me happy or loved me doing music so much. And so what got so you much. into video? Her me, me, like, yeah. me doing the music. Mm-hmm. He wanted to see me happy. He wanted to, he knew how much I love music and yeah. how much it means to me. Well, he didn't always like, have it to you know what I'm saying? By video, Everybody, our videos is like 800 to 1,000. We didn't always have to, we didn't always have it. We didn't always that, have so. it. He learned how to do makeup. He learned how to, to do going. videos. To keep on going. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Look, I'm just still like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow. And he told so, himself all that. That's crazy. Just to see how God's giving you that kind of talent mm-hmm. to be able to, and that it shows you a lot when you do work together and love for each other. God will give you what you need to provide okay. for her. Yeah, he'd be patient with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, is there anything that I mean that what was there any dreams or anything that you had separately that people may not know about or that you? I always used to. I, used to, I always used to tell like, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What That's I, exactly. What you're doing. But then, like, like that, man, one, one time, I just figured it out. I was just like, no, my like my dream. I just want like I, I love to make you happy. So I guess that's my dream to make you happy. So whatever. Attached to making you happy, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's what I figured from that. So I, you know, that, you know, that's just what I feel. Right. So it could be it, or it could be something else. But right now, that's what, what prayer did you pray for that? To I honestly <laughs> <laughs> pray. I, mean, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I did, yeah. and I didn't. And it, that's what I was telling you, girl. It's like everything, man. It feel like sometimes I be like, dang, what happened? Like, how did this happen? <laughs> you know, like I always say that because right. I'm like. But I know it's like, that's why, like, nobody can persuade my mind on, like, how real God is. You feel right, what I'm saying? Because right. it's like, I done been through, we both separately been through a lot. You feel what I'm saying? Whether it's together or whether it's not together. And it's like, for God to be so real, I'm like, he still has created some wonderful beings out there. Like, it's right. some wonderful beings. Yeah. But sometimes you don't know where they're at because gotta, maybe you've overlooked them. Maybe mm-hmm. you maybe you um, ignore the conversation. Mm-hmm. The world is so crazy that, like, men, like, I feel like people that's made for each other, they, they miss each other because of the world on the, the influence the world has on them. They they miss out. Right. You know, so they're right. following the wrong thing and they miss what's meant for them. Yeah. And I, I totally agree with that because even just hearing you all's love story, I think what I, y'all are so free, mm-hmm. free to love too. You have to be free to be right. who you are, and free yeah, to be yeah, who exactly. you are. Because it's you know not it there's not a lot of women out there. There's not even a lot of men out there that even know how to make a relationship work off of just pure love. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like pure love. Yeah, how many yeah, people's like, relationships run off of? Oh, you got to take me to this fancy restaurant. Mm-hmm. You got to do these fancy gifts for me. You gotta take me on this trip because that yeah. means you love me. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I show the world that you love me. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. but you gotta understand when we was young, we didn't have. It. He worked construction. He had two jobs in his life. When he he worked construction, you, everybody know when by the time the winter time come, you don't really get good money with construction. Yeah. I worked at a hospital cleaning up some little like cleaning like cleaning the hospital. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of money between that, so right. it's like. The times that we made fun, man, we we used to have fun with just ten dollars. It took ten dollars. That ten dollars would bought us a bottle of look, you know, like a little pre mixed alcohol for mm-hmm. one five dollars. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then the other little thing goes straight to the little value menu. We ride around just chilling. Like <laughs> that, like man, there is we didn't have it doesn't take a lot to make us happy. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like because it's not artificial. Was there any like before you met him? I'm going backwards. Okay. But before you met him, I, I know you dated probably before. Mm-hmm. Was there anything that y'all had to overcome with each other from previous relationships that you know, or anything? Was it anything you had to break through? Or y'all pretty much were just like, "Hey, this is new. I'm gonna start new." I would say like my attitude and mouth and wanting to put my hands. Wanting to put my hands on people. Like I had to learn that like. Like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of that. Like, it was just like, I was just, I'm still afraid. (laughs) 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 But, yeah, I just 
shiver down crazy. I'm like, I ain't gonna play with it. <laughs> like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so, like I said, um, as far as even five years ahead from now, um, where do y'all see yourself five, just five years? What do y'all see the call you from five years? I feel like that's what's going I really do feel like we are going to I feel like someone I don't know I just feel like I feel like we got it it's going to happen one day and I feel like y'all and this is just me personally just from talking there's that couple that everybody's going to finally say they didn't appreciate why they were here that they had them in the midst right here to take part in to, um, I mean, like I know I heard you at the the show this past, you know, this yeah. past weekend. You're you're talented in a lot of different areas, mm-hmm. and the thing is, is, sometimes the cities that you're in don't appreciate don't the talent appreciate that they it, have. Right. But when you go somewhere, then they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, yeah I knew. Mean, it'll be yeah. all that I knew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you knew them, or she was dope. But you remember that one time she came perform and everybody was talking through her show, <laughs> <laughs> like. I know it's gonna be a lot of wild conversations. Right. I'm I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready for the I'm ready to keep laughing. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm be doing. Hey. <laughs> well one one thing I always do with every couple uh-huh. right before we go ahead and end is I like to have them turn to each other. Okay. Look at each other straight in the eye. I get away. I ain't been on camera the whole time anyway. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> if my phone tried to chill, I didn't have the iPad. But I want y'all to look at each other and tell three things that you love about one another. Okay. All right? Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure y'all are definitely out. Y'all on there. Three first? things? Either or three, three things. things. Okay. I love your smile. I love that you always there for me. And I love who you are. Okay. I love... What you get? What you get? <laughs> I love the speech. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a little bonus. A little bonus. Okay, let me do my three. I love... I love everything about James, you, James. I love everything. I love your mind. I love that you respect me. And I love that you always love me and care for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm my new fave cup. <laughs> but um, I thank y'all so much. Thank you, girl. One thing I love is learning a different love story. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't realize, create your own. Yeah. You can't be. The thing is, even when we watch y'all, we can't. I can't be a Demetri D- D- and Jimmy. I can't be yeah, whoever. Like, make your own. Create mm-hmm. your own. So, yeah. and I like y'all because again, you created your own. Yeah. And I'm excited to see the rest of this love story. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's gonna be done now. Crazy. I can't wait to post this and see the comments. Oh, it's gonna yeah, be fun. <laughs> But y'all stay tuned. Y'all follow Demika and Jimmy. I mean, they have some exciting stuff. Um, they're all, always working. Always. Always, always I'm working. I'm going to go work after this. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all get that Demika Rochelle La La Land. It's my new EP. It's out on all major music platforms. And my son, our son, YM, his single is out on all major music platforms called Fortnite. Make sure y'all get that. <laughs> Yeah, and Bailey, nice. I will get him to perform y'all I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Like me, <laughs> All right, thank y'all. Thank appreciate you, y'all for coming over. Love y'all. And like yes, I said, I'm going to be following y'all's every move. So don't <laughs> think I'm going to stop. <laughs> All right. Thank see you. you.